Welcome back to The Pulse. If you haven't joined, you can join via all our social media handles. It's on Joy News on TV. You can tweet at us with the hashtag The Pulse. And right now, we're talking about sanitation because I'm sure you've heard of plans to make Accra the cleanest city in Africa. Well, those were the plans of the President of the Republic of Ghana, Ekofuad, when he first took office. This was in response to the filth that had literally taken over the streets of Accra. In 2021, the President, together with the Greater Accra Minister Henry Corte launched Operation Clean Your Frontage to realize the president's dream. Since its launch, some of the assemblies have been piloting the policy, and the Ayawaso West Assembly, more than 30 people were issued a sermon for failing to keep their immediate surroundings clean. In the Ayawaso North Assembly, the MCE for the area led a team of sanitation officers and tax force officers to educate the public and as well caution those that fell foul of the law. Starting from the Timber Market in Accra New Town, the chief executive of the Yawasu North Municipality, Zakaria Mohamed Aminu, and a team of environmental health inspectors checked the immediate environs of some vendors in the market. Shop owners who failed to clean their drains were also issued summons. Yeah, it's dirty. So it's part of his work. It's part of his frontage to clean it. Yeah, it must be his duty. Yes, so he has to clean it. It's not about MPP and DC here, no. At all. And where's the person? He's not in, but we'll look for him. Once we have said he's having notice. Uh, yes, I think he has been giving a notice. So he has to comply. Okay. And the notice is to what effect? What are they supposed to do? They are supposed to clean it. Yes, every, front, every drain in front of your house or store is part of what? Uh, your frontage. You have up to the middle of the road to, 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 to clean. From this side, up to the middle here. See? From that point to this side, it's the duty of the, the household or the store owner to clean it, including the drainage. And this side to this side to, is part of what? This place. They are supposed to clean it. So no one has no right to say, oh, I won't clean it. No. Whoever dares the law, the law will take its course. Yes, he must not dare the law. That because I'm A and B, so nobody's above the law, not even my, my good self. What's the worst that they could be facing if they fail to do it? Imprisonment. Yes, that's the worst. Some of the residents who were issued summons were unhappy with the way the operation Clean Your Frontage policy was being implemented. Alaji Sani is one of them. I like the, the, the attempt of trying to sanitize the area. That is the good way to move. But here is an area, it's a settlement, and everybody is in. So no, law is law, yeah. So I want, I want, I want them, us, us what we want is, they should give us some, uh, this thing, rules and regulations that we will use. So if I see somebody putting it, I will, yes, yes. So, so they should let everybody put net, joint by joint. It is better for us. Another resident, Abdul Latif, identified that the asphalt on the road covers some of the metal covers on the drains, making those parts unreachable. He says they cannot be faulted for an engineering error. It's the simple things. This the day they, they come to lay this quota. We are telling these people that they usually they usually seal the bath because every time where we are uh, we are commuting the gutter. You, you used to remove this iron, then we clear the gutter. They didn't listen to us. Now you block this thing, how can we remove this thing? And we need the MC the help. This gutter is too choked. The pressure here is too much. They should come and cut this gutter to join this lane. Because this lane is empty when there is a rain. We are trying to explain it for them, but they don't want to listen. They are giving us pressure. And this gutter, we are the one who is commanding every time. Even though this is my big brother, every time. So you think it's not fair to... It's not fair to us. Because all the, all the rubbish you come from up there, come here. Some shops built on pathways, like this motorcycle repair shop, were ordered to close. TMC said it will be pulled down. Now, as the state agencies ready themselves for the exercise, Greater Accra Region Minister Henry Corte says the assemblies are fully prepared to implement the policy regardless 
of the logistical challenges being faced by the local assemblies. We, we are very much ready. Implementation is a process which includes continuous sensitization and awareness. That is why we are starting on 1st February. That is why we are going to pour more men and women onto the streets. And that is why we are going to urge people to continue to observe cleanliness in their frontage and their immediate environment. But I'm saying that it is only proper for us to implement the restrictions of Aboboya on the principal streets and highways when the, land, the transfer sites are ready. And we are saying that because of the COVID challenges, the machines are not ready yet. So whilst waiting for the machine, we'll go ahead with the implementation, but in different forms, so that Aboboyas will not be deprived of their daily uh, uh, livelihood. So yes, we are implementing. We're starting the process of implementation. It's a process of implementation, which includes persons that we have sent to training to pass out, to come out now to assist in ensuring that uh, there is strict adherence and compliance to the bylaw. Noazum Lion, Ghana, the official partner of the campaign, revealed that only three of the 29 assemblies have been able to put up a waste state transfer station. He says many of the assemblies have challenges procuring and siting the land for the waste station. Ennis Morgan Aqua is Greater Accra Regional Manager of Zoom Lion. Not ready for 1st February, but what we are waiting for now and what we are working on now is for the um, assemblies to get the land ready for us. You know, we have to get the land to put the plant on. So as we speak, about three uh, MMDAs are ready with their land. That is um, the Ablekuma North, that's by, um, Malam area, then Ashaman, then Tema West. They are ready with their land now. The rest, I think they have some small, small issues with the land. So we'll try and push them to get us the land for us to come and put the we, we want to limit the uh, Abubuya applying the main street, the principal street. So if you don't get a transfer station for them, then it means when they pick up the waste, they will go all the way to the final disposal site. And when that happens, sometimes you see, you see the rubbers from the Abubuya flying. Sometimes they get uh, faults and they have to leave it on the shoulders of the road. They get accidents and... Even when the police arrest them, they cannot pull it to the police station because they have waste in them. So we want to limit all these things. So what's the level of readiness with uh, less than four days to start uh, the exercise? Joining me uh, via Zoom for this conversation is uh, Na uh, Anna from Adukwe Ado, who is uh, from Tema West Municipal Assembly. We'll be joined by other uh, uh, MCEs from various assemblies for this conversation would we'll also be joined by Zoom Lion to have this conversation. But let me start with uh, Anna Adukwe. Uh, Anna, uh, as we wait in, in the next four days, Operation Frontage will begin uh, in earnest. Let's assess the level of preparedness. How prepared are we? Thank you very much and good afternoon to your viewers and listeners. Um, so far, we've had a series of engagement. We have a committee set up at the RCC, and we've had meetings to that effect. We have our routes that um, um, we are taking. Everything has been lined up from Farisco to UTC, um, Carnation First Light, to Bechabi Lamte, Runabout, Aveno to Circle, TUC to Tema Station, TUC to law school, Abu Glushi, and then La Paz. So these are the routes that we'll be working on. And um, so far, 13 MMDAs have been pulled, um, and Agama have been pulled to this um, operation. And um, we have security forces available from the police service, um, from the military, immigration, and prisons. And um, we have, that's so, so far, that is just about what we've done. Uh, we, have, we also have um, 
national service persons, about we are expecting over 15,000 national service persons across the country to come in Greater Accra to come and assist in this project. Mm. Let's understand what this operation, Clean Your Frontage, will, I mean, what will happen on, on Tuesday, February 1, when the operation kick starts. Um, what is going to happen is all the, the 15,000 national service persons that have been pulled in, um, we all meet at the Independence Square by 6 o'clock. We will meet there, that's it for, we will pick them up from, pick from points that have been designed. So we all meet at the Independence Square where they will be addressed as to what exactly they'll be doing. And then buses will be taken. The, the bus will take them to their respective points. That is where they will, that's what's going to happen. They are going to distribute leaflets or flyers, and then you'll have bumper stickers that will be, uh, will, will be stuck on, on people's cars, creating awareness and sensitization of the operation cleaning of frontage. And then we are expecting um, the MMDAs to bring along their, their team, that's their tax force. There will be decongestion exercise along in some areas, as well as towing of cars and, and broken down vehicles that have been left on the roads, they will be towed. So these are just about some of the things that will happen on that day. Well, Zoom Lion feels that you are not prepared enough because there are lack of logistics to actually implement this. Uh, what really are the challenges? you are facing right now? The main, the main challenge, as the Honorable Regional Minister mentioned, what, uh, is, the, is the transfer sites. Mm. That is the main challenge. Apart from that, we don't have any challenge. And um, we will go ahead, as he mentioned, with the implementation process. Um, the Abubo Yas will not, they will not use the motorway, but will not restrict the movement so far. But the motorways is out of the way. Mm. We'll make sure that they will help as well. You know, we have compaction tracks distributed across the MMDAs. So we will lift um, rubbish that will come out on that day. We will lift rubbish to the to the final disposal points. So that's what will happen. But there are no challenges. Mm -hmm. The main thing is the transfer site that is not ready. So with the transfer stations, uh, are you saying that you can go ahead with the implementation without the transfer stations and still have a smooth, I don't, a smooth I don't implementation? Envisage, I don't envisage a lot of problems. We have a series of engagements with our service provider. That is the waste um, companies, and they know exactly what they're supposed to do. Mm. But this is a waste yeah. company that is raising the issue, Zoom Lion, which is partnering yeah. with you. That says that... I mean, the assemblies are not ready because of these I think, I think logistical it's a, I think it's, problems. I think, it, I think it is not a fair statement because yesterday we had a meeting. Zoom Lion was there himself, and I believe he saw the the, the interaction that went on. I don't I don't think this is is the right statement for them to. Have. So so on Tuesday you are starting yeah. in full force yeah. Operation yeah. Clean Your Frontage. Yeah. What's your message yeah. to the public? Um, this is a bylaw, it has come to stay, and we, we need them just as they need us. And everybody, I believe that they must imbibe what is going on. It should be part and parcel of our lives as, as Ghanaians. The filth is too much, we generate them, and as much as possible, we want them to know that it is not okay to go on like that. This is something that has come to stay, and when you are arrested, when you don't do the right thing, you'll be arrested. This is a bylaw. And we were going to enforce it in full force. They should know that. I'm grateful for you your person. time. Anna Dukwe Ado is MC for Tema West Municipal Assembly. And we've been speaking about the uh, the Operation Frontage, which will kick start on Tuesday. Uh, we can now also do some assessment with the Central Municipal Assembly. And I'm being joined by Mohamed Bashiru Kamara. Uh, I'm grateful for your time, Mr. Bashir Kamara. Uh, I want to understand uh, what your, uh, whether you are fully prepared for this operation come Tuesday. Um, good afternoon, Madam. Yes, we are fully prepared. Um, we, learned, we launched the operation yesterday, and uh, these uh, people, stakeholders, transport union um, leaders, their clergy, etc. Everybody was there, and um, you could see the level of enthusiasm of the people after the launch of the program. 
And um, we've had series of meetings and sensitization of exercises even before the launch. We have branded vehicles ready to do done broadcast. Um, we have said of next week or two to meet um, religious leaders um, and traditional authorities at twenty four universities. Yes, in an attempt to sensitize the general public about the operation. Um, so we started, we kick started the program. Not that we are ready, we kick started already. And um, I can tell you that um, the Central Municipal Assembly is cleaner now than it was before um, the inception of this program. Now, there's been the issue of transfer stations, and indeed, the minister himself confirmed the lack of it. Are you sure you'll be able to go ahead with implementation smoothly without the transfer stations? The transfer station, our site is ready. We've done the inspection and everything. Um, you see, it's not about transfer station or less transfer station. It is about the spirit of nationalism and patriotism that this whole exercise is instilling into the general public. Uh, he that everybody thought that uh, cleaning your voltage and environment, immediate environment, for that matter, is the duty of the government. And for that matter, the people are But since the inception of this program and the kind of sensitization that has gone on, people are beginning to realize they have embarked um, the idea that so it says for you to go, it's not the government to come and do it. And in our rounds, we explain to them um, the law and the bylaws that have passed. For instance, somebody did not know that if there is a heap of garbage in front of his house or her house, and they don't take they don't take steps to remove them by law, it assumes that they are the one who caused it. They didn't know, but through this sensitization like that, they are they are wide awake now. And they started um, this morning with this um, round, and clearly you could see that everyone to themselves have started um, the operation. We're going to embark on a float, serious float on the 1st of um, February. That's why we have flyers. It says we will do a lot of public education. I believe by the end of February, you will come to the Central Municipal Assembly and you wonder whether it's a municipal assembly that is so. Just today, this morning, uh, for two hours, I had a meeting with the um, um, refuse um, service providers in, 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 in the municipality. There are about 12 of them. Each and every one of them was present. And we had I mean, a very extensive deliberation in line with operating clean your country. They themselves have told them that they have a responsibility. For instance, when you are driving past, they are trapped and everything. They see that there is gap somewhere. They, it is their responsibility to make sure that the, the, the garbage is cleared from there. And that it means they are checking their responsibility. And they left my office very, very, very happy uh, with, with the program. Let's bring in NS Morgana, who is CEO of Zoom Lion Ghana. They are partnering in this implementation. Uh, Mr. Morgan, you are concerned about the preparedness of the various assemblies to implement this policy. What are the challenges that you have identified? Okay, thank you very much. Um, the challenges that I have identified in respect to the program that we are going to run from the 1st of February, is um, the citizens, their preparedness to the program. Um, we've had enough education, but um, we did a Reiki yesterday, and some of them, um, it's a pretense, but it's, it's as if they, they've, they've not heard anything about it. And it's common with Ghanaians. Mostly they want um, enforcement. They want us to get on the ground before people would move. Because we've sent information around all the MMDAs, they have piloted the program, sending a signal that from the 1st of uh, February, this is what we are going to do. And um, that apathy is there. So we are looking up to Tuesday and we'll see what will happen in town. So, you, uh, so what do you envisage will happen on Tuesday without the transfer stations? 
So without the transfer station, everything is running. Um, the transfer stations were to be cited by the 1st of February so that they would get the waste from their bubble yards so that they don't ply the main roads. Because they are not ready, I think there wouldn't be much enforcement on the tricycles. But for the motorway, from November we started, they know bubble yard is plying the motorway. With the principal street, I think we would relax it a bit till the transfer stations are ready. Uh, we would, we would uh, the enforcement of the uh, Abubuya in the communities. But outside this, we want to ensure that those who are selling on the streets are moved from who are on the pavement, moved the vehicles that are that have decided not to join the association and to use the lorry parks, but they are on the stretches. So all, and we would also we are sending flyers and social media informations to all citizens in Accra, so that they will ensure that from 1st February, your frontage is clean. We are, now we are doing more of the education, and from 1st February, um, the notices will be served, and I think when we start with the enforcement, um, things will, will move in shape. So, so come Tuesday, 1st February, you're going all out to implement this uh, uh, policy, right? Yes, and as part of the things that we have done, or we are doing, now, every MMDA in Accra, all the 29, if we see at least one brand new compaction tracks, we have given out pickups for monitoring. And for the uh, compaction tracks, they will be plying the uh, principal street to ensure that garbages that are on the stretches are picked quick and fast. Aside that, we are also um, giving some logistical support to all MMDAs. We have also pushed... Uh, the one million bin agenda. You know, if you are cleaning your frontage, if you are ensuring that you are pushing agenda, you should have at least a bin in your house to hold the waste that you produce. Every human being produces waste. So now we are pushing the one million bin agenda. At least every household should have a bin. That is the first step in making sure that we are we are in line with this operation, clean your frontage. And I think. It, it, it's a new project. We would have some challenges too, but um, within the next three, four months, everything will fall in shape. I'm grateful for your time. Enes Morgan Aqua is CEO of Zoom Lion Accra, and uh, we've also been speaking with Mohammed Bashir Kamara, who is MC of Gas Central Municipal Assembly. Earlier, we spoke with Anna Adukwe Ado, who is MC for Tema West Municipal Assembly. I'm extremely grateful that all of you joined.